This is supposed to be a nice, easy repo, but when you get here, I pull up, I put the key in, and it just clicks. So, you're gonna have to figure out the starter. I was able to jump the starter. It did get started. Um, but, so I'm gonna have to figure out the starter. I don't really feel like jumping it every time I have to fill up with gas and drive 2,000 miles back home. But, I show up, and I don't know how well it's showing up on the camera, but see there's a big old dent right here in this fender. It must have got hit by something, and that wheel was cambered in, right almost going into the fender. So obviously it wasn't going to be drivable that way, so I had it towed to where I could work on it. Harbor Freight Specials. 200 bucks in tools and about 250 bucks in tools and then uh, redneck alignment adjusting that bolt right there seeing if I can get this cambered back out hopefully the toe is not too bad that it's gonna just rub tires the whole way home I gotta drive about 2,000 miles to get it home so well we'll see what happens now I'll go Look at the starter, probably gonna replace it. Uh, because you have to, someone has to be holding the key and the starter will click, but the starter doesn't turn. But if you go jump it manually at the starter, the starter turns, but it doesn't click. So you need two people to start this thing every time you jump it. And that's no fun, because I'm all by myself. <laughs> so probably gonna be replacing the starter. You can see this whole fender's crushed in right here all of this is messed up so well hopefully it makes it back to utah <laughs>